Coming live from the newsroom with some breaking news, I'm Ron Burgundy. Well, folks, it looks like we have a new man sitting on the top ten rich list, and his name is Wendell Sharp. Sharp has come out of nowhere to become the richest man in the world. He built an oil rig in an undisclosed location in the Pacific Ocean two years ago. Since then, he's amounted an obscene fortune. Who knows what Wendell will do next? Now to our reporter on the street, Heather Black. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. I better go tell the boss. <laughs> this is too easy. Look at all this money. There's so much I can't even count it all. Oh, well, who needs to count when you have this much? I better go lock this up in a safe. It's like printing money, this business. <laughs> Boss, I got some bad news. The oil rig pipe burst and oil is leaking into the ocean. We don't got the supplies on the rig, so we'll have to send someone to the mainland to get some. You mean losing some manpower for a few days just to fix a little leak? Not on my watch. So what if there's a little bit leaking? Just crank the power more. We've got money to make. <laughs> Father, please accept my deepest apologies for being late to the meeting. I'm very sorry. That's quite all right, Ariel. Okay, so as you know, I've called this meeting to speak to you all concerning the pollution in the city. It's only slowly creeping in now, but getting worse by the day. Three other cities have already had to evacuate due to the water people are calling the Black Death. Although our sources above land are calling it oil, I want everyone ready to evacuate the city immediately. Father, no! I don't want to leave our home. Look, I think I have a plan that I can make all this stop and go away. But you'll have to trust me. Okay, Ariel. I'll give you 24 hours, but no more. Don't worry, Father. I'll fix this. Sebastian, you know that princess you told me about above water to help save people? We need to get her here now. Oh, you mean little Kelly. It'll be tough to get her here, but with a little magic, I'm sure I can make it work. Don't worry, Princess Ariel. We will save the city, I promise. Oh my goodness, oh, morning time! Oh, it's still night time. Weird, because I'm so hungry, it feels like it should be morning. Oh, I guess I did only have, you know, two bacon sandwiches before bed instead of five. Oh, okay, I guess I'll go up there and just grab another bacon sandwich, eat that and go back to sleep, because my belly is rumbling so loud that I don't want to wake up the whole house. Oh, which reminds me, I better be kind of quiet. I don't want to wake everyone up from the sleep, you know? Okay, let me see. Uh, Okay, no one's in the kitchen. I have this whole place to myself. Oh, yeah. And a bacon sandwich and a bacon sandwich. Two should do meat before bed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Oh gosh, these just smell so good. You know, sometimes they're even better when they're colder and they're just real crispy and crunchy. Oh my goodness, so good. Okay. Ooh, ooh, actually, ooh. Ooh, I kind of need to go to the toilet. <laughs> I need to do a little pee. Okay, uh, sandwiches, you wait there. I'll be back in a moment for you. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. It wouldn't be sanitary if I brought you in there. Is it weird that I talk to my food like it's a pet? Probably a little bit, but anyways, okay, let's go to the bathroom. It's kind of creepy walking around the house at night. I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, into the toilet. Hey, there's a really weird sound coming from the toilet. What is that? Oh, what? Whoa, why am I small? What? What? Why am I being sucked into the toilet? Hey, someone help me. Anyone? Oh, oh gosh, no! Not a flush! No! Why did I get 
flushed down the toilet and now I'm somewhere else. Wait, <gasps> why do, uh, where am I going? <gasps> why do I have a mermaid tail? What is going on right now? I'm so confused. Where am I? This place is cool, but it kind of smells a little weird. What's all this stuff over here? Is that, is that oil dripping from, what is going on? Look all this, oh my gosh, there's trash all in the water and what what is all of this looks like rubbish everywhere uh oh wait oh, this guy looks like he wants to talk to me hello sir um are you are you the one who brought me here are you little kelly if so follow me uh yeah i i am little kelly okay i'll follow you um oh my goodness this is this is so weird wait all these and all these mermaids and mermen Looks like they're getting stuck in the oil that's pouring down. Oh gosh, oh my gosh, look, that one's on fire. And so is that one. Oh no, oh no, what is going on here? This doesn't seem like a really cool magical land. I mean, there's trash all in the water everywhere. I thought, I don't know, I thought the land where mermaids were would be really pretty and you know, gorgeous and full of seashells and pearls and magic. But this, this kind of looks gross, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I don't know what's going on, but I, I, oh, this guy looks like I better keep up with him. He looks kind of angry. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't believe this is this is how they live. Maybe maybe mermaids aren't as cool as I thought or clean, I guess, because this place is filthy. Look at the oil that's coming from everywhere. I can't believe this. This is so strange. Otherwise, it's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, uh, sorry. What were you saying? Princess Ariel will see you now. Okay, uh, okay, I need to swim up here. You said Princess Ariel will see me now? Wait, you don't think that's, you know, Ariel, the most famous mermaid in the world, do you? Let me see. Oh my gosh, it is her. Why did she want to see me? This doesn't make any sense. Oh my gosh, and who knew that Ariel lived with a load of trash floating around her? Anyways, let's go talk to her and see what she wants. Hello, Ariel. Um, I'm little Kelly. You wanted to see me? Little Kelly, I'm so glad to meet you. Oh, we're having a terrible time down here in the ocean. There's pollution everywhere. There's garbage and trash all over our city. And uh, don't get me started on the, the death water. What do you guys call it? Uh, oil? It's already ruined three cities around us. We can't have our creatures dying. Someone's pet dolphin died the other day. It's slowly creeping into our city, and we need your help to stop it. I can't go above water, and I need someone who I can trust to do it. If you please do this, I will make you a princess mermaid for the rest of your life. Oh, Ariel, of course I'll help you guys. I can't believe how many sea creatures are dying. That's not good. I'll find out who's at the bottom who's at the bottom of this and and I'll put a stop to them. I promise or I find someone who will be able to. Uh if the oil is coming from up here, I'm going to swim to the surface and see where it's coming from. I know you can't leave the water, but I can. And then I'm going to get some help and put a stop to this. You can trust me, Ariel. Okay, I'll be back in a while. Goodbye. I can't believe this. A mermaid princess like Ariel is entrusting me with saving her city. Okay, well, no pressure then. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, I got this. I can do this. I just need to find the source of the oil and all the rubbish and put a stop to it. This shouldn't be too hard. Okay, let's go for a little swim. looks super familiar um why would this oil rig be familiar what have i seen out of an oil rig lately hang on <gasps> that news report the world's new richest man and he had an oil rig in the middle of the ocean and no one knew where it was from so 
I guess this could be the reason why. No one's keeping up on what he's up to or how bad he's being to the environment because no one knows where he is. But yet he becomes the richest man in the world? Well, there we have it. I think I know what I need to do. I need to go and tell someone what I've seen. Okay, it's time to swim back to the mainland. Get out of here, tell someone who can help us, and shut down this oil rig. Okay, well, now that I know who's causing the problem, well, I know that oil rig was from that news clip the other week that I saw. I don't know who I can tell. I mean, do I go to the cops? I don't even think they'll listen to me. Oh, I got turned into a magical mermaid and then found out that the richest man in the world is polluting the ocean. No, I need someone who has a little bit of gumption and who might believe me. Hang on, what's this? <gasps> A news reporter? This might be perfect. Oh, wait, sounds like she's doing a news clip. Thanks so much, Ron. As you can see, I'm standing outside yet another small local business that has had to shut its doors in our city. But unlike the reasons some of the other businesses are shutting, like the recession or falling on hard times, the pizzeria you see behind me closed for stranger reasons. There has been a report that the animatronic animals inside the pizzeria, used for entertainment purposes, were coming to life at night, terrifying the employees within. We're gonna stay on this story all day, folks, so be sure to be watching. Back to you on the studio, Ron. Uh, okay, is this the right idea? I mean, if I tell a reporter, then she could broadcast it on live TV and the whole world would know that Wendell Sharp is polluting the ocean and killing animals at it. I mean, all the fishes and all the rubbish he's dumping in the ocean as well. Okay, I just gotta try and get her attention. Uh, <coughs> oh, over here? H hello? Hey, Jimmy, how did that come out, okay? How does my hair look? Ugh, I can't believe they have me covering a pizzeria story. Animatronics coming to life? Who's gonna believe that? I mean, come Psst. on. Over here, I need to talk to what? you. What? Beat it, kid. I'm trying to work over here. Hi there, miss. Uh, sorry to bother you, but, um, I kind of have a huge story that I wanna... I want to give you to break to the world. It's gonna be so big, you'll be on every TV screen across America. What kind of story could a kid like you have? Come on, scram, run along. Well, uh, you see, the story is about this guy, um, oh gosh, how do I even say this? Okay, look, Wendell Sharp, you know the richest guy in the world? Well, do you know how he's making his money? He is using an oil rig. Well, of course you know that. You reported on it. But he's using it, but the pipe burst and he's leaking oil all into the ocean and there's so many animals dying like dolphins and fish and even some other animals that I can't really go into but look you need to break the story on this he's doing it all illegally you need to figure it out a way to make it stop what do you mean about Wendell Sharp we uh, our company just covered a story about him being the richest man in the world you're telling me you've got dirt on that guy Okay, if you can get me some proof, I'll run the story. Now go, kid. Go get me the proof. Oh, this is gonna make my career. Uh, okay, will do. Okay, uh, so that didn't really work. Now I have to find proof, but no one knows where that oil rig is apart from me. And they're gonna question how I found out about it. And then I'd have to reveal about the mermaids, and I can't do that. Okay, well, I'm you know what? I'm still a mermaid for the day. As soon as I touch the water, I become a mermaid. So I just need to swim back out there and I need to get my own proof. I need to take pictures of the oil rig or something that I can bring back as solid evidence so that the news report can run with it. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. Okay, back into the ocean. Time to get to that oil rig. Okay. If I'm gonna, you know, give proof to this reporter lady, I'm gonna need to get some proof off this rig. But I need to figure out how I can get up there. Oh gosh, I can't believe this is happening. Um, I still look like a mermaid as well, which is not gonna help the cause when it comes to blending in up there. Oh gosh, okay, well hopefully when I get up there, I'll think of a plan. Uh, let me see, okay, well there's stuff over here. Oh look, there's ladders! 
Okay, that's where I need to head for. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm so tired from swimming and then my legs have been all wobbly from going back on land. I can't believe this. Being a mermaid is so cool, but uh, it's not too good on your legs. I mean, it makes you feel a little bit like you're seasick and then you're land sick and you don't know what type of illness you have. Okay, goodness. where There must be a ladder up here. Oh, perfect. Okay, once I get up here now, my legs should work a little bit better because I'm feeling a little seasick right now. Perfect. Back on land. Okay, so we need to get up to the very top of here and find the proof that the reporter needs for us to get this story out into the open and for someone to make this this guy, Mr. Sharp, pay for what he's doing to the ocean. The poor dolphins and creatures. I just can't believe anyone lets this happen. Okay, uh, maybe around this way. Let me see. Oh, there's another ladder. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Okay, I don't know if this is going to lead me right to the top, though. Okay, ooh, okay, not at the top, but definitely getting closer. Gosh, these oil rigs are so huge. How does one even manage to build this in the middle of the ocean? Oh, oh, what's down here? Um, okay, we got grappling hooks and boots and... Oh, perfect, this is the workers' unit. They must wear all this stuff up there. Okay, let's put this on and this on. How do I look? Okay, I look like I could work here a little bit. Let's put these boots on. And we can get around a lot quicker now. Woohoo! Okay, uh, let's aim for right here. Oh, okay. Oh, goodness. I don't want to fall. Whoop! Okay. Okay, we need to find a little space that it's easy to shoot up on. Uh, okay, let's see if I go from maybe here. Oh, no, I missed. Okay, here. Whoa. Whoa! Okay, balance. <gasps> Look, I did it! Whoa! Okay, um... Quick, let's get back onto the this part and try sneak by these guys, you know? We don't want them to get suspicious, and we still need to get the proof. Okay, I don't even know where I'm going to find this proof, but there has to be an office with documentation about this place somewhere. Okay, uh, nothing to see here. Do, 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 do. Okay, nothing to see here, and no one's suspecting a thing. This is perfect! Gosh, this place is huge, and... Whoa, there's so many, so many cameras. Okay, I better keep my head down. This is not good, not good at all. Okay, uh, how do I get up to the top floor? There has to be an office around here somewhere. Gosh, what is this place like? Boss, we were checking the cameras and it looks like someone has made it onto the rig without us knowing. Well, what are you waiting for? Get them before anyone knows about the leak on this rig. Okay, I'm nearly at the top. Uh, let me see. Whoa. Okay, there's loads of people up here. Hey, you! You don't work here! Get her! Oh, no! They're all after me! There's tons of them! Oh, goodness! Oh, oh not you too, lady! Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh! This is not good! This is not good! Ah, they're all following me! Uh, how am I gonna get out of this one? Oh, no! Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh! Let me let there be a way out! Let there be a way out! Oh, no! I think I'm trapped in a corner! No! Well, 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 what do we have here? An intruder on my rig. What do you think you're doing here, oh, Missy? My head. Uh, uh, oh, oh, what am I doing here? Well, what are you doing here? You're not allowed oil for, or mine for oil in these oceans and let it leak everywhere. It's against the law, and I'm going to make sure the whole world knows what you're up to. <laughs> you think people are going to take your word over mine? You're just some girl, and I'm the richest man in the world. Well, what you're doing is just wrong. Oh, gosh, I didn't notice them. They're scary. What you're doing is wrong. You're killing the animals in the water and, and other creatures, too. Dolphins, fish, everything. And it's all because your oil leak is making you a little bit of money or whatever. I can't believe you would do that. That is awful. I can't believe you'd let harmless creatures die because you want to make money. Look, little girl, the ocean is a big place. And who cares if some fishes are dying because of the oil that's leaking from my rig? No one. That's who. Anyway, guys, throw her off the rig. I don't want to see her face anymore. Whoa! Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's lucky I am a mermaid because other way, uh, anywhere else, that would have really, really hurt. Well, 
They think they got rid of me, but look what I have. I brought a recording device with me onto the boat and let me hit play and see if I got it. And who cares if some fishes are dying because of the oil that's leaking from my rig? Yes! That's all the proof that I need. Now all I have to do is give it to that reporter and everything will be fixed and everything will be... Coming live from the newsroom with some breaking news, I'm Ron Burgundy. The FBI have launched an investigation into Wendell Sharp, the richest man in the world. It seems that Wendell was making his money from extracting oil illegally, and not only that, but was polluting the ocean at a mass level in the process. Looks like Wendell will be behind bars for a long time, and volunteers from around the world have stepped forward to help clean up our oceans. Now, over to Jason Denman with sports.